Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations tutorial videos. Today I'm going to share our piece of our Zoom class where we did a Russian leaf pattern with uh, size delicates, four colors, and size 13 seed beads with one red color. Um, I used um, Nymo beading thread and size 13 beading needles. The earring, the pattern was done in a flat um, design and we started in the middle. Um, you work one side of the stop bead and then the other. The stop bead is put, you, you have about five feet of thread and stop bead is in the middle so you don't work one side and then with one side of the thread and then the other and it turns that into a flat earring. So the first row will have the seed beads that will be used to do a turnaround and go back up um, on each row. Uh, so, um, and then once you're done, I stiffen it up with nail polish. So, go ahead and here is the first row with the five turquoise and I'm gray and it's working from the top down so you'll have one red 5A, 7B and then the three at the bottom will create a pico to go back that pico is right there and that is the turnaround point in the middle so we'll go ahead and bypass those three um, seed beads and pull that up to the row of beads and then begin our peony stitch up that row following the pattern. So we'll be working from the bottom up and we'll be using, there'll be 3B and 3A to continue all the way to the top. Um, row 2. So, just peel your stitch, skip one bead, go to the next. Skip one bead and then go to the next. And continue that all the way to the top of the row. When I get to the top, you're going to go through the seed bead, but not the stop bead. So you're through the seed bead, and that is the top of the row. And you'll turn around at that point and go back down and work through row three. So that was row two, working from the bottom up. And then in the black, green is the bottom up and black is to the top down. So working row three, you're gonna put just one turquoise bead on because you're coming out of the seed bead. So you'll put on that one turquoise and that will be your turnaround on row three. And you'll just go right through that first turquoise bead. And then you'll just continue down, working down that row. And peyote. So row three is a one. A and 2D and 3A and 1B. I'm sorry, 2A and 1B. 1A, 2D, 2A, 1B. That's working from the top down for row 3. And when you get to bottom, 
of row three. You'll do a turn around and go back up. So when you get down at the bottom of row three, it's going to kind of look like um, it's not finished. But that spot that you're coming out of right there, that's where the seed beetle set. So when you put your next bead on, it's going to go up through that gravy and it doesn't look right or feel, it didn't look right or felt right to me when I did it and I had to do it a couple times, but that seed bead is just sitting there. It's not attached to anything, but in that bead you're putting on so it just snuggles right in that spot um, so you're going to take a turquoise bead A, your color A and you're just going to go up through that gray bead that's sticking out and that will take your turquoise bead be next to that first row of gray beads and then the red bead will just snuggle in and set there and then you'll continue on the peyote stitch all the way to the top and that is row four so that your one seed red one a one b one a and three d We'll take you all the way to the top. Now, when you're gonna, when you're at the top, and you're going to start row five to come down, that um, transition to turn down is going to be one A, one seed red, and then one A. That will be the turnaround beads. That's the increase on the top. So that's your increase to create the diagonal peyote stitch. So your 1A, 1C red, and then 1A. And then you will come down and you will go through the first A bead that you put on. So the three beads are pointed up. You're going to go down through that first bead you put on facing down so then you'll work row five from the top down with that one a one c red and one a as the turnaround and it'll sit kind of wonky but when you come back up to do row six it will you'll be able to move over where it needs to be. So that's how it looks. And we'll just continue down from top to bottom. Row by. I apologize if you hear fireworks in the background. It is actually the 4th of July today. So, and I didn't want to wait to do the video. So, so once you get that whole side done, according to the pattern <clears throat> then you're going to do the end row will be um, just the six seed red so the pattern said says six seed red and then you just work them all the way down to the bottom <coughs> excuse me Yeah, I kind of didn't want to wait to finish the video because I've been so lax at getting them edited and put up for the group. Okay, once the seed reds are all the way down, you're going to weave your thread back up and come up and be at the top. So I just weaved 
I'm zigzagged right up next to the seed red through my A's. And then you'll work the second half on the other side. Um, you're just going to pull that stop bead off. And you're coming out of that seed red, so you're just going to start with the Um, an A. You'll work your way down that. So the and the next side is done just the same as the first side, and you'll get to the end of that pattern. And there's your flat piece. And now that flat piece will need to be brought together and. I didn't follow the diagram or the pattern because it was too confusing for me and I'm not good at reading patterns like this so I just put two beads on, uh, weaved um, one side in through the um, seed red bead there and then back through. Um, yeah, back to the other side. So I'm putting my needles through. I'll take my other needle and put it through to go back. And then once I got them, let me get that one through that red seed bead. And once I got them to cross, and then I just weaved it right down um, through the seed reds and the turquoise relevance on the end and weave it all the way down to the bottom of the the reds so that and like I said I didn't follow the pattern as the bit because I couldn't understand it and I thought this would just be as simple as anything else. So I weaved it right back down, down to the end of the <coughs> red seeds and then I burnt it off. I used a thread burner because it creates a ball at the end of that nine off there. And then just put on an earring wire. And that is it. So I purchased a pattern and you I will link that in the description where you can purchase the quill pattern or you can come to my group site uh, the Creation Corner Beading Circle where we did the Zoom session and I did have a pattern that's up, a diagram. Or you can visit my website at www.quinnamapacreations.com the, the pattern is not on the website. It's just in the group. Um, but you can purchase the full pattern. So thanks for stopping by.